many of us, like myself, are far removed from the farming experience. But when the New Testament was written, everybody got this concept of farming right away because everybody had to work for their own food. That's why Paul uses a farmer as an analogy in 2 Timothy 2 and verse 6, where he says this, the husbandman, or the farmer, that laboreth must be first partaker of the fruits. In other words, Paul is saying, good farmers feed themselves first. I want you to imagine that you have a farm with, let's say, 100 acres of corn. You till it, plant it, watch it grow, and the harvest is great. You get 150 bushels per acre. Now let's do a little math. With 100 acres at 150 bushels per acre, you yield 15,000 bushels. That's a tremendous harvest. So what's the next step? Do you take all 15,000 bushels of corn to the market and sell it all so that next summer you can buy more land and yield an even bigger crop? Well, I think that would be a very foolish, short-sighted plan. Think about it. The farmer needs to feed his livestock. And the farmer needs money to buy groceries for his family. It's going to be a long winter. That means you can't take everything you earn and turn it into output. The farmer that labors must be the first to partake of the fruits. In other words, feed yourself first. This holds true spiritually. You have to feed yourself before you can feed someone else. If not, you'll eventually starve yourself and your soul will be empty. It's hard to believe that you could actually be out telling the world about Jesus, but at the same time starving your own soul. Be a wise farmer this week. Feed yourself first by showing up to church every opportunity you can to hear the preaching of God's Word. But go beyond that. Feed yourself this week every day by getting into God's Word on your own. Then you can feed others and do it well. Farmers get this. And Paul wanted Timothy and us to get this also. Feed yourself first or face the fallout. An empty soul. Hey, thanks for watching Beyond Sunday where we apply God's truth to today's challenges. Have a blessed week.